Hello Geometry. Um, we are talking today a bit more about um, angle basics. So um, let's go ahead and get to it. Let's just pause it real quick if you would like to get everything down before we go. And here we go. So the first couple things here that you see in blue, I think these are things that you should have seen before. Acute angles are angles that are less than 90, maybe kind of look like this, okay? Right angles are 90 degrees exactly. They usually, you can usually tell because there's a box in the corner. Obtuse angles are greater than 90, so right kind of swings pretty wide. And then a straight angle is an angle that goes actually a full 180, okay? And so here we go, complementary angles. There uh, are two angles whose measures have a sum of 90 degrees, okay? So take a look at this diagram right here. If I tell you that CFD, CFD, and DE, a DFE rather, DFE are complementary, okay, so these two together, complementary angles sum to 90, that means you can assume this is going on. What's the measure of angle CFD? CFD. So if together they make 90 degrees, and we know for sure because it's labeled in the diagram that this one is 50, well then that means that CFD has got to be 40 degrees. Okay, supplementary angles are two angles um, whose measures have a sum of 180 degrees. Okay, so let's just take a look at this example. Here's our diagram. ABC, ABC, and CBD, CBD, which is already labeled, are supplementary. Okay, so when they're supplementary, that means that they add to 180 together. So what's the measure of angle ABC? Okay, A, B, C. So if we know that these two together is 180 degrees and we've accounted for 120 of it, well then that means that the measure of angle A, B, C has got to be 60 degrees. All right, let's take it up here. Adjacent angles are angles that are next to each other. So take a look at these two. Okay, adjacent means next to. This would be an example of adjacent angles. Angle one and angle two here, they're right together. Okay, angle one and angle two over here, this would be an example of not adjacent angles, okay? A linear pair is a pair of adjacent angles whose non-common sides are opposite rays, okay? So look at, check out this ray, I'll highlight it here, okay? And then check out this side, I'll highlight it here, okay? But a linear pair is a pair of angles that are right next to each other whose non-common sides, this and this, are opposite rays, okay? So together, they're a linear pair. Okay, 180 degrees that is. All right, so let's take a look at this. Um, we've got a, a situation going on here. We know that ACB and BCX are supplementary, okay? So let's see if we can start to put together this picture here, okay? So let's see, so ACB, I'm gonna kind of configure it this way. ACB is an angle, okay? And then B to C to X, okay? So we know this angle and this angle are supplementary. That means these add to 180, okay? We know that ACB is represented by 5X plus 1 degrees, and BCX is 10X minus 16 degrees, okay? And then we wanna solve for the measure of angle BCX, okay? And so I think we can just set up a little equation right here on this one, okay? So if these two together are supplementary and they add to 180, well then that means our equation is gonna be 5x plus one plus the 10x minus 16, and that should equal 180 degrees, okay? So 5x and 10x is 15x. Um, negative 16 plus one is minus 15. Okay, and we'll go ahead and add the 15 and add the 15, and we'll get 15x equals 195, and we'll divide both sides by 15, and we'll get that x equals, let's see, let me just do some little quick division here, 15, 4, that's 45, I think it's going to be 13. Now, let's just go back to the problem, remember? Um, we weren't just trying to solve for x, we were actually trying to solve for the measure of angle BCX, so BCX. So now we know what x is, so let's sub it in, okay? 
okay? So we're going to have 10 times 13 and then minus 16, which is 130 minus 16, which means the measure of BCX is 114 degrees. Okay, so let's just take a look. Last problem. Let's see if you can figure this one out. Please pause it. Pause it here. And if you did it correctly, I think the answers you should be getting, whoops, erase there, are 76 and 104. So good luck. Get to the practice.